Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing an Ask Pink Sparkles February edition. So my most asked, my most thumbs up questions in February from my YouTube videos and Twitter with the hashtag Ask Pink Sparkles. I'm just going to go ahead and get right into the questions for the month. I had some Twitter questions that I had saved for a while ago, but for some reason they deleted on my computer. So I'm sorry if you asked one. Um, earlier in the month, but I don't even know what, what happened to them So I'm just gonna get started now with this video because you guys love the last one Thank you guys for your comments and letting me know that you guys actually liked it so I can continue or not And you guys liked it. So obviously if I'm doing this, so I'm just gonna get started with the questions There weren't too many questions this month. I go on my all my videos for the month So all February and I find the top comments are the ones you're really thumbsing up, but they were mostly just comments or um, compliments they weren't really questions so there aren't that many questions for this month and if you hear water running my boyfriend's having a shower and I wish I could have filmed after but we really need to go because we're filming lots of videos today and it is our six month anniversary so we're going out for Sunday brunch so let's just get into this where does she live I live in Canada more specifically I live in Saskatchewan is the province so if you live in the states the province is basically the state I live in in Canada version. So I live in uh, Saskatchewan as my province and Saskatoon to be even more specific as the city I live in. So that's where I live. I do get lots of people asking where I live so that's the answer to that. Um, does anyone know how much those glitters are from Sephora? Honestly I don't even really remember and I just went onto the website to look at the prices but for some reason they're not on the website but I believe they were around like $15, $20 each. You can always go into your local Sephora and and find them or phone and ask if they have them and the price. Okay, this one. This one says, and in the description box where it says, do you want to send me something? Geez, that makes me cringe for you. You should cancel your PO box. Why are you taking gifts if you can't send any back? First of all, I don't ask for gifts. If people want to send me gifts, that's their own prerogative. I would never ask somebody for, or especially my fans, I don't ask anybody for gifts or presents. Some people really want to send me letters thank you letters, um, pictures, drawings of me. I don't ask for, uh, ask, ask for gifts. So I don't want you to think that and I would never cancel my PO box because it's a very safe way for my fans to send me mail to show their love. And also I did send every single person a letter back for an entire year every person that gave me their address which was like 99% of the people and it was a lot of money postage it depends where things are going it could be three dollars to send a letter it could be a dollar to send a letter it could be 75 cents so it was very expensive every single month to send things it was probably like a hundred dollars to two hundred dollars a month of my money sending things back so people don't get that people aren't uh, really aware of things like that. Some people just think, oh, she's not sending back because it's easy to just send, write a letter. First of all, it took me an entire weekend to write up all the letters because I could get 100, a letter, 100 letters, I could get 10, but it was usually a lot. So I'd go in there, answer questions, signatures, sign people's pictures, write a thank you letter, write their address on, send, put the stamp on, send things out. It was a lot of money, time, and now I don't just basically sit at home all day. I work, I gave you guys this video, like I give you guys shout outs in the video. So some people are very quick to judge when you shouldn't. You should actually look into the situation and realize the time and money that is going into that. And this girl puts it perfectly, so I had to throw this one in here. And it says, personally, I don't think it's rude at all that she isn't deciding to reply to all the letters because of the time and costs. A lot of YouTubers have PO boxes and don't even do these PO box videos. She is at least acknowledging the people who are sending her these things, not through a personal letter, but on video. If it were me, I'd be more excited to have my letter and name mentioned in a video than through a letter response. Other YouTubers have requested for their viewers to send in a stamped envelope if they want a response. Maybe she can suggest doing that. Actually, a few of you have sent me stamped letters with your address on it. People put um, a already prepaid letter in there or envelope, sorry, and write their address on. So all I have to do is write the letter, put it in there, put it in the mailbox. And I have done that. So this girl actually puts it perfectly. It's all what I just said previously, but that is very true. If you go to the description box or YouTube page of a 
lot of YouTubers, beauty gurus, other people that make videos, almost everyone has a P.O. box and not many people do P.O. box hauls. Even doing the P.O. box haul is very time consuming. I go through every letter, get everyone's name, read their letter, sort it out and make the video, edit it, post it. It takes a lot of time so I really appreciate this girl and the people thumbsing it up who actually appreciate that and recognize that. Um, so yeah, my thank you is the video and showing you guys how appreciative that I am. So I really want to thank you girl for showing, sharing that. Um, does anyone know what lipstick she's wearing? The color is gorgeous. Now basically the whole month of February I wore the same one. I'm wearing it right now and that is this one. This is Rimmel? Is this Rimmel? No, it's Maybelline. It wasn't Maybelline. Oh, it's gone now. This is a Maybelline lipstick in Bare All. I put it in my favorites video, but I do. Got, I did get a lot of questions on it. This is the color there. It's an extremely gorgeous nude. I'm not gonna swatch it because it doesn't even show up. It's super nude. And um, this month, I've been wearing it this, and then I'll pair just a little bit in the middle of both of my top and bottom lip with the YSL lingerie pink. But that specific video that they were asking um, was just this lipstick with a tiny bit of clear gloss over top. But I've been wearing this a lot with this a lot. Lately, I just said a lot, a lot. So that's a lot, a lot. Your eyebrows look longer than normal in this video. Are you changing them up or keeping them this way? Just curious. I change out my, vi um, my videos. I change out my eyebrows almost every single day. I will never do, well I shouldn't say never, but I will rarely do the same look twice for eyebrows. That's what I like about my eyebrows in particular is because I can make them really long, I can make them short, I can do thick, I can do really thin eyebrows like I did today, I could do very defined, which you guys, lots of you don't like, but I personally do, or I could do them more natural. There's tons of different ways I could do them more square um, in the middle here. Uh, so I never do my same eyebrows twice. That's what that is. Um, is that a Monroe piercing? I actually get this question a lot. Um, my right here, if you can see that there, this is actually a natural birthmark, mole, freckle, whatever some people want to call it. I call it um, a beauty mark right there. And also you can get a piercing called the Monroe piercing right here. That's exactly where they'll place it. And the reason why it's called Monroe piercing is Marilyn Monroe had this actual beauty mark here and I have the same beauty mark there. So I'm very blessed to have some sort of quality as Marilyn Monroe. So that looks like that and that is natural. It's not a piercing if you guys can see that. Sometimes I will take eyeliner and just define it a little bit only occasionally, maybe like once a month. So that's when a lot of you guys will notice it. But no, that is natural. When are you going to do a room tour. This question <laughs> is so muchly asked, okay? Mucho, mucho asked. I'm going to do a room tour when my room is completed. We are in the process right now of doing renovations. Seems like it's going to be done quite soon. When I say soon, maybe I'll have my room tour up in a few months. Renovations take time and money. I don't want people freaking out if it's not up in a few months, but it shouldn't be too much longer. So whenever we're done, that's what we do. Oh, this one's a very nice comment. Thank you, Sue. Mm, you are what you eat. Back at you, boo-boo. This wasn't really a question. Well, there's a question in it, but it was basically a comment. And it says, oh my load, too many annoying and bitchy comments in the comments section. Haven't your parents taught you that if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Anyways, I love your look. Hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day. Thank you so much because I don't understand what it is lately about YouTube. It's not just my videos, but other beauty gurus as well. It seemed like February was the month to hate. I don't know why. Every person's video or every beauty guru's video that I would look at, the comments, people were just really angry. And I don't know if it's because maybe they don't have love in the month of love and they're just mad at the world. I don't know, but you know, that girl got a lot of thumbs up, so I had to share her in this video. Thank you very much for that. Next question, got two thumbs up. Does it snow in spring in Canada? Sure does. Um, it depends where you live in Canada. Canada is a huge country, so many different places are different. Some places are way colder than the others. A lot of people don't really know that, and I don't know why. Some people say, oh, if it's cold in this place, it's cold everywhere in Canada which is weird to me to think, but whatever. It does snow in spring in Canada. Yes, it also snows in spring in the United States in certain cities and states. So that's just the world, who cares? Anyways, um, do you even like the Lakers? I think this video was I was wearing a Lakers hat. Right now I am wearing a Tide shirt and I have never used Tide, right? 
So, um, no, I don't like Tide. The Lakers, I don't like basketball really. I think it's kind of boring, but that's just my personal preference. I'm more of a hockey girl. The Lakers, if I had to choose a basketball team that I liked, I would just choose the Lakers because of their colors. I love their colors and that's why I wore the hat because I love different colors. You don't have to like everything that you wear. That's what fashion is. So if you had a big eye on your shirt, does it mean you have to like eyes? I don't know. This one's another mean one, but I like to address things that are insanely thumbs up. Well, this one's insanely thumbs up. It was only two people, but it says, oh, and this person decided to hate on every one of my videos. So that's probably just them. Um, 20 something and dressed like a teenager. Yeah, I'm thinking you would fall under the not in the hot or not app that you love using. I roll in brackets. You guys should dress how you guys want at any age. If you're four years old and want to dress like a grandmother, you do that. If you're a grandmother and want to wear SpongeBob shirts, who cares, that's you. You shouldn't be just put in your age group and like, oh, this is a store and this is called 10 and you have to dress 10. I love Forever 21 because you're Forever 21 because you can wear whatever you like. There's no age group in what you have to wear. I love seeing little old ladies and grandmas and they have like little Powerpuff Girl like shopping bag type things. I'm like, oh my God, that's so cute. You just have to be you. There's no age limit. It's yourself and your own style, so. Now I'm gonna go on to the Twitter questions. I don't have a lot, but if you guys want to ask me a question on Twitter, you just have to hashtag Ask Pink Sparkles. And this girl says, will you ever visit the UK? Um, I have visited the UK before. It's gorgeous. That is my homeland, where my roots are, where all my family is there. And I would love to go back there. It is very expensive to fly out to the UK, but I would love to visit again. And I know that I will be there in the future when I have the money to just do that. A next question, if you could drink one drink from Starbucks for the rest of your life, what would it be? I love you and come to Regina. Well, this is a really hard question. I love questions like this, where it's just like not your average, like what's your favorite eyeshadow? What's your favorite lipstick? Even though I do like to answer those, I love like the weird questions like this. And this one is very hard for me to answer, but I would have to choose the Venti iced green tea latte. That's what I would choose because it's not like a really heavy drink and then you don't get much in there, which kind of sucks, but I never get bored of that drink. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Those were all the questions. Thank you guys so much for asking all your questions in February and just continue asking your questions and thumbsing up the ones that you guys like for the next Q&A video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.